highly enriched uranium fueled research reactors could become a potential source material for nuclear weapons. The threat of terrorism legitimizes this concern and the solution worldwide underpinned by the principles of non-proliferation is to convert all highly enriched uranium fuel research reactors to low enriched uranium fueled research reactors. In this regard, Ghanaian scientists, in collaboration with scientists and experts from Agon National Laboratory and Idaho National Laboratory of the United States Department of Energy and the International Atomic Energy Agency and China Institute of Atomic Energy undertook the process of converting our high enriched uranium fuel reactor to a low enriched uranium fuel one. The conversion of the reactor core was successfully completed in August 2017 with a total expenditure of 22 million US dollars and over 90% of the expenditure was provided by the US government and the IAEA, whilst Ghana government provided the needed security. This made Ghana the first country outside China to successfully complete the conversion of this reactor type. This is a major feat, and by this feat, Ghana received an outstanding performance award from the National Nuclear Security Administration, Department of the Energy of the U.S. of A. The government has over the years shown commitment and support to the Ghana nuclear program. Just three months ago, government re released an amount of 300,000 U.S. dollars to support the site selection process for the nuclear power plant. The cabinet has also approved the setting up of an organization to oversee the construction and operation of Ghana's first nuclear power plant. We will continue to play our role as government to support the nuclear power program.